It's showtime! Tanked is back! We want fish that can kill you. Pop-tastic! It's a star-studded season! Oh my god! Taking 3,000 gallons. Let's do it! With Big Time Tanks! Pop the charts! Wow! That you have to see! Look at the fish! To believe! Holy! Tanked! New season, Friday, September 18th at 10. Tanks for the memory! <laughs> Well, it's back tonight, 9 o'clock central for us on Animal Planet. Tanked is such a great show, so much fun. And one of the stars, Wade King, is on the phone right now. Wade, how you doing, buddy? Good. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Good, man. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. And, uh, and here we go on another, another season, new episode tonight. And Wade, I have to tell you, and I know that you know this, but the stuff that you guys do, it's incredible. I don't even know how, how you go from the idea to here it is in somebody's house, but it, it, takes, it takes a small army, but teach me the secret, will you please? It's, it's, it's fun. It's interesting. You know, a client calls up, they want something, they dream about it. We actually get it on the paper, a little rendering, and then uh, they agree to it. We get into manufacturing, and then we put it together, and we come out and install it and fill it up and make your dreams come true. You know, at in, in, in my house, Wade, and you're going to laugh, in my kitchen, I have a small fish bowl and one fish inside. I don't even know what kind of fish it is. I'm the worst. But I would love to get, like, some type of custom fish tank. And, and for you, so do you encounter people that, that would like a fish tank, but they don't know where to start? You can kind of help them with an idea or a concept? Uh, what we love to do is we love to find out where they spend most of their time, put a tank in their living room. We don't want something that's in the office or so if they're not there that much. But um, the smaller the tank you go, the harder it is to take care of. Okay. And a lot of people don't realize that. So the bigger you go, the easier it is to take care of. That's a good thing to know. So, Wade, for me, I work in radio, and I'm also like a diehard Back to the Future fan. Have you ever made a fish tank into a DeLorean? A DeLorean car? No, but we did some, uh, we did some uh, vehicles that we actually cut down, and uh, we made the whole entire vehicle itself into an aquarium. And those were interesting and fun projects. We won a few different awards for some stuff like that. See, that's what I'm saying. I've seen you do that on the show, and, and I thought, since I'm such a Back to the Future nerd, if I ever get a DeLorean, <laughs> maybe I'd drive it around, and then I'd turn it into a fish tank. Like, that'd be pretty cool, right? Well, we can also do it and also make, like, a tunnel or so that you park it underneath or so, or go through it, so you can still use the car and not just take the car and put it into the tank or anything. So there's a lot of different things you can do. I love it. Uh, this, uh, the, so the second half of season five, David Hasselhoff, Penn and Teller, Sherry Shepard, uh, it, it looks like it's a lot of fun, but we got to talk about David Hasselhoff for a second. The guy seems like he is an absolute riot. How was it working with him? It was incredible. I mean, being with him, you know, growing up watching Baywatch and then, you know, doing, uh, um, you know, Kit and cruising around in the car, we had had a chance to cruise around one of his cars, and then we did a dive scene with him, which was incredible. Just being with these people and their dreams, they want certain types of aquariums to be in the house and custom design it to the way they like it and hang out with them. And, you know, you go up, you get this impression of a person, and you're not sure what he's like, and then all of a sudden you hang out with him. But like, he's the coolest guy in the world. <laughs> I've, interviewed, I've interviewed him a few years ago, and he seemed like he's just a, a genuinely like nice guy that's a little eccentric but that sometimes that's the best have you ever come across anything wade where you thought like uh somebody wanted something i don't know if it was a specific type of fish or whatever and you've had to say no or modify it a little bit does that happen often well you know we do modifications but the only problem we had is like say someone did wants a certain tank and they have a budget of 100 grand or 20 grand and all of a sudden now that the tank that they want um, for us to build, it could be 150 grand or 30 grand, and it's not in their budget. We'd have to say no then. But mainly, if someone wants something, they have the money, and we can almost build anything you want in the world. I love it. I have some uh, questions for you off of Facebook. Some of your fans wanted to know a few things. Can I ask these to you? Sure. What's the question? So, uh, Christian says, "What's the typical price range on a custom tank?" And I guess that would vary, right? Well, usually a rule of thumb is the size of the tank is the size of the filtration area. When you get into the larger ones, you want to have a separate remote um, filtration system so you can get back there and take care of it. Um, it's mainly uh, accessibility. It's where you put it. You want to have ventilation. You want to have um, some drainage. You want certain components that you can get in and easy accessible to take out the filters and wash them down if you have a big room sink. If it's just a regular um, home aquarium built in the wall, you want to have access in the front and back with ventilation. You mm -hmm. want to make sure that you have the right pump so it's not noisy, it doesn't heat the aquarium. So 
because there's a lot of little engineering stuff that goes into it. So, and, that, and that's what we do. We try to design all that from the beginning so you don't have these problems later on in life. Tiffany says, uh, if you have one, a favorite tank that you've made so far or maybe one that you, you're working on currently. Um, I, you know, my favorite is um, I'm gonna, hopefully down the road I can build a house and I have a tank in my living room. I'd like to break uh, the largest size. It's about 35,000 gallons that you can physically dive into. Oh but, um, you know, we have a, I have a small house now. Brett does. We're actually going to be building some coming up this season. He's going to build one into the wall in the foyer in the front of his house. I'm going to be a uh, possibly doing a custom one in my house here. Um, I don't want to uh, reveal it yet and tell you what you guys are. We're going to do a little design. I'd like the mine to run on solar if I can and introduce that to the world so they can see that the tank can be run on solar wow. for 24 hours. So there's a lot of little things that we're trying to change in the industry and we're coming up with new products and new ideas. It's really cool. No, I love it. Um, Wade, do you guys ever go out? I'm assuming you do public appearances, but you ever like get involved? What I'm getting at is Jennifer on Facebook is connected with the Greater Iowa Reef Society. Um, what's your What's your travel schedule like? You guys ever go to events and, and speak on behalf of organizations like that? Um, we travel all over the world. And with a lot of people try to tell us the schedules and the events. We try to schedule it in. Um, we do make appearances and stuff like that. Sometimes we can bring out some gear. We can do some signings. Um, if we can't make it, sometimes we do a little donations once in a while. We'll send out some hats and shirts. We try to help out all the societies. We probably get about, I'd say, two, three hundred of those probably a week that we have to respond to. Wow. And, uh, you know, we try to help what we can and be involved in what we can. There's different, different groups. There's like Reef of Palooza, there's, there's MACNA, there's different stuff in, the, in our industry that we go to and visit. We try to get involved with each one, but like this whole month of October coming up, we're flying all over, even going overseas to China. We're all, you know, we're constant, we're doing the Greensboro Aquarium. We're, we're all over and do a lot of different things. So, when they send these emails in, we try to respond as best we can. That's awesome. And you definitely seem like the type of guys that will take the time. And even though it's two, three hundred emails, you want to read them all and give, give everybody a reply, which I appreciate. New episode of Tanked, ladies and gentlemen, is on tonight, Animal Planet, 9 o'clock Central. I hope you check out the show. It's very entertaining. You just had, uh, I know, the, the tank you did for Jeff Dunham. He's coming to town in a few months to do uh, some comedy. That guy, uh, did you get to see his Batmobile by chance, Wade? Man, he's got a bunch of different cars. He's a down-to-earth, great guy. Hanging out with him in his house and building a tank room. You know, his show, Jeff Dunham's show, is incredible. Go check it out, guys. Check out the new show, Tank. You're going to see some new celebrities, new tanks. It's incredible being with these people. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be, you know, part of it. It's fun. Well, I'm so happy for you and for Brett and the whole crew. You guys have a great show, a great business, and uh, I love that you get along, and then sometimes you got to give each other the business, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm glad that that's captured on television for all of us to see. Wade, listen, have a great weekend. We'll see you tonight at 9 o'clock Central on Animal Planet for Tanked, and I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, buddy? Thank you. Enjoy the show. We will. Take care, man. Bye.